What's up guys, Lex Skills here. Today I got like a, um, well, let's say the best deck to farm soul gems with, rather. I'll show you the deck list after I do this fight. I'll just explain it along the way. I'm narrating over this. Um, the thing here is that I'm running a Prophecy Bellamage deck because the AI always attacks into you pretty much. So the more prophecies the better, and the more shit you can get on the board pretty much. It's obviously an echo deck. So the whole idea is you win around turn 6 to, well, 8 max, pretty much, because else you can just get outvalued. Some decks are bullshit and everybody knows the AI cheats, but... You have some pillagers because you're planning on breaking a lot of runes, obviously. Let's just shuffle this back in. It's not great. Like I said, the whole idea here is just to push as much damage as you can as fast as you can. Because the AI is really weird. Sometimes they just put stuff in the left lane while you're filling up the right lane pretty much. Like it makes no sense. Swing. Drop that there. It doesn't really matter where you drop anything. Sometimes the AI bullshits you, sometimes they don't. It's just really... See, the guy play would have been to kill that charge with the scout there, but he didn't. Like, the AI just always goes face for whatever reason. It's really silly. Like, it's not a bad thing to take damage, pretty much. Because the AI, like, they, they just keep attacking face. Like, and it doesn't really matter. So you just want to play on curve really well, pretty much. You just want to drop as much shit on the board as you can. Shadow fan here is useless, but they play it anyway for whatever reason. See, AI does really silly things. No prophecy that time's unlucky. If you can deal with the warden, then I'd say deal with it, for example, if you do run into it, but... Like, usually you don't have to. It's, it's kind of silly, but usually you don't have to. Um, if I do get a shot through the scout from Prophecy, I can kill it. Oh, lightning bolts could pick up. We could just drop another dragon. Hey, I hit a Prophecy. The estimated time to farm, say, 20 wins with this deck is about... Maybe like 2 hours-ish. I was gonna drop a dragon here, but he can... He can cheap trade me there, and that's not what I want, so we're not gonna allow that. Yes. See what I mean? He suppresses that and he still swings into it. It's kind of silly. He could have killed the... Uh... Oh, I'll take that, actually. Um, yeah, I'll put it over. He could have just killed the uh, Cameron hero here pretty easily. But he just didn't, for whatever reason. Sentinel. There we go, drop that over there. He's got another suppress for whatever reason. Alright. We are turn 6 here. Now the question is, do I have potential lethal? So I have 8, 10, 13, 17 with lightning bolt equals lethal. So we're just gonna... Um, actually, I just completely forgot about the guard then. Let's just do this then instead. Go away. There we go, there we go. Play Pillager for the memes. It gets pretty strong if you've broken 5 runes. And there you go. It's relatively easy. Don't be, don't be afraid of losing HP pretty much, right? Because you're trying to outvalue the AI. And the AI just silly shit, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter anyway. So I'm just going to show you the decklist now. Like I said, it's mainly prophecy focused. And then the Rift and Pillagers, I put them in recently because sometimes you run out of gas. And then you can drop those and they're pretty big, so they don't die easily. And it also depends on which AI you're fighting, pretty much. Get a good 15 jumps for that. I'll show you the deck list now. I did, gonna, I did do a Chaos Arena run, by the way, but it wasn't that exciting, so I decided to not upload it. By the way, if you did like this video, you found it helpful in any means, do consider leaving a like and subscribing, it does help the channel. And, um, 
of course i always like seeing the channel i love seeing the feedback you guys post there's always useful comments on my uh, on my comment section so i do always like that so don't has don't be hesitant to comment like leave me your other ids like i like seeing that so i am going to show you the deck list i call it prophecy bm <laughs> just short for battle mates not brag message See, like, the curve is a lot on the twos and threes here, as you can see. Like, there's rapid shots, draw cards, sharpshooter scout for pings, a lit so you can ping, initiate for the werewolf and the prophecy value, of course. Creation Ravager has prophecy, Crocodile has prophecy, Protector of the Innocent, Harpy, Sentinel, Cast Out, Gatekeeper, Lightning Bolt, Mess Track, and Fate Weaver. Like, you can keep going on and on and on. This deck has like 35 prophecies, so it's like two third prophecy, pretty much, right? No five drops, which you could do instead of running. Um, What's that card called? Instead of cast out, for example, you could run two Gratwood Ambushers because the AI tends to play a lot of stuff in one lane. And if you can uh, sort of maneuver them into all one HP and you drop an Ambusher, you can pretty much clear a lane. You could do that as well. So if you don't have a card, you could say run Gratwood Ambushers if you have them. If you have Ancano, you could run Ancano. It's, you, can, you can mix it up a bit. Like, Let me know how it worked for you. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.